How to Make a Celix Shop Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Celix shop. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to celix.io or you can simply click the link below the description in which from here, it will show you about this platform. Celix was a popular e-commerce platform primarily used by digital product sellers and service providers, in which it provided a simple and user-friendly interface for individuals and businesses to sell their digital goods such as software licenses, game keys, ebooks, digital art, and other downloadable products. In which, aside from that, in this platform, they also offer a variety of plans, and by clicking the pricing options on the top panel, it will show you the plans including the free, pro, and business plans. And you will see below the corresponding prices on each plan and the list of benefits and feature that they included. But in those plans, I'm gonna choose to proceed using the free plan. And to do that, can you click Get Started on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And from here, you can sign up using your Google address or alternatively, just fill out all of this required information below. But I'm going to choose to sign up using my Google account. So kind of click on this and just choose your account. And from here, just enter the store name that you prefer and proceed by clicking the continue button below. However, if it is not working, just click the back button below and just proceed to the alternative way, which is by filling out all of the required information such as your email, the store name, and by creating your password. And after that, from here, all you need to do is to enter your email or username, and of course, your password below. And after that, just proceed by clicking the sign in button. Then moving on, the next thing that you need to do is to go to your email inboxes, in which you need to validate your account by selecting the email that this Celix has been sent, and just proceed by clicking validate your account button in here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And to sign in, just enter your email address and your password. And proceed by clicking the sign in button below. And after that, just wait for it to load and you will be directed in this page. And from here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information. And as you can see on the top panel, there are five steps that you need to fill out to set up your business on Celix, including the general, notification, crypto, terms, and personal. And under the general section, you will see here that you need to fill out the general information, including your business logo, in which upon clicking on it, you need to upload or import your business logo from your computer files with a file supported of JPEG, PNG, with a maximum file size of 5 MB. And after uploading your business logo, below, all you need to do is to select your currency. And after that, it is only optional to enter a business VAT percentage. But I'm going to enter a 10%. Then just proceed by clicking the next step button below. Well, for the second step, which is the notification, in which from here, you can turn on some of the option that you want to be notified, such as the orders, tickets, the feedback, or receive an email when ticket is replied, ticket replied, product updates, and many more. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next step button below. Well, for the third step is the crypto section, in which from here, all you need to do is to enter your Bitcoin address, your Litecoin address, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum address. And you could also adjust a transaction threshold, but I'm gonna choose the 5%. While well, the next step is the terms of service, in which from here, you can enter the terms of service or the policy that you want or you prefer in creating your Celix or setting up your shop. And aside from that, from here, you could also embed a link and be directed in these terms of service. Now for the last step is the personal section. And below here, all you need to do is to fill out all of the personal information, such as your name, your address, 
your phone number, your personal details, including the business details. And after filling out all of the required information, you can now go to Dashboard. And from here, it will show you some of the things that you need to consider or to know. And as you can see on the left side panel, it will show you a variety of options that you can navigate. While on the right side is the content of each section. We have here the dashboard, the products, payments, analytics, customers, online store, and many more. In which under the dashboard, you can set up your credit cards or your payment option. And you could also see here the revenue that you have and the statistics in your shop. While under the products, it will show you a variety or list of products that you have in your shop. But as you can see here, we have no products in our Selix store. And in order to add the products, just proceed by clicking Create Product button and you will be directed in here. And to create a new product, just enter the title, the description below, in which you could also customize the context including the bold to make it italic, underline, and many more. You could also embed a link, enter a bullet form, while below it is also optional, but you could also import an images from your computer files in here. And aside from that, below that, you could also enter the YouTube link, while the pricing option, you could also enter a single payment, in which all you need to do is to set up the price, the payment methods that you prefer. We have here PayPal, Cash App, Stripe, and many more. And you can select any of those payment options or methods that you want to receive or accept in your shop. While under the additional details, you could also see here that you could turn on some of the options including unlisted, private, on hold, watermark custom, and many more. And after filling out all of the required information and in creating a product, and after that, just click create product below. But at this point, we're just gonna cancel this. Now going back on the left side panel, we could also see here the groups, categories, layout, upselling, and other options that we can navigate, including the payments option in which upon clicking on it, it will enable us to show the balances, payouts, invoices, subscription, or even the licenses. While under the online store, we could also see here the documentation, themes, pages, navigation, and domains that we can navigate under the online store. Such as by clicking the pages, it will show us the list of pages in our online store. And as you can see, we have no page. And in order to create one, just click the button that says create page and just fill out all of the required information. And aside from that, going back on the left side panel, you could also navigate some of the options including the settings, app store, developers, and many more. And by clicking your profile on the top right corner, you will see other options below including dashboard, your shop, subscription, affiliate link, developers settings, and sign out button. And aside from that, this platform also provide sellers with various tools to help prevent fraud and manage their online stores efficiently. So that is just how to make a Celix shop. Thank you.